Hi there, Leo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for October 23rd to October 29th. This may or may not resonate for you, as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. I am using the Crystal Visions deck and the Doreen Virtue uh, Angel Daily Guidance deck. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle for a minute. This is intended to be a love reading. For some, not all. I use whatever deck I'm called to use, and I was told to use this one. The basis of your reading is the hanged man, okay? The hanged man is about being stuck in a situation. It can also be about uh, sacrificing your own needs for others, okay? It can also mean that some of you are resisting a change of some sort, but you must struggle through it, okay? So I think that many of you are probably, there's a change in front of you and you don't want it, but, um, or you know you need to do it, but you're not doing it because uh, there, of some reason, maybe it's too hard or it hurts or there's just, for some reason, you are not moving forward even though you need to. I am going to just zoom this in better. There we go. All right. So, yeah, the basis of the meaning, meaning, the basis of the reading is the hanged man. Okay. So, it's like uh, you need to look at something from a new perspective. Okay. You do. I think it's, it's time to start something brand new, and I think you might be afraid of it. I'm not sure what that is. Um, you're afraid of something. Um I do see that we have this, the tower right next to it. So when the tower comes out, it says that something needs to break down. Okay, there's a breakdown around you or it's going to happen soon or it may have happened already. There's some kind of breakdown that's going to happen. And it is going, it, something's really heavy. You, there's something very heavy weighing on you. I mean, seriously, if you take a look at this, this right here, this, hey man, I mean, look at, he's got his hands over his eyes. He like, he... He just wants to ignore a situation, okay? So, I don't know if you can see that because I can't, the camera's up too high. But you see, he's got his hand. I just think it's really relevant. Ignoring us, like, this is just too much for me, okay? It's like, you know you need to struggle through something, but you're not doing it, all right? And this is half the heaviness. Um, hmm. There, it looks like there's some deceit with the Seven of Swords, okay, right here. And you might know what it is because you, you're just trying to pretend that's not the case. And how am I going to handle this? How am I going to handle it? All right. Without losing the structure, without losing the keeping things organized, without losing my cool. How am I going to handle this? All right. Because it is so heavy with the Ten of Wands and the Justice. There's something heavy weighing you down, Leo, this week. And I think this week you're contemplating letting it go. You are contemplating letting something go. And to let it go, it's going to be a struggle. It's not going to be easy to let whatever it is go. All right. But it does lead to a new beginning. Once you do let it go, it, this world card is a completion. Okay. When that world card comes out, it means you've learned something big. A big, big lesson. And it's time to start something new. So, I mean, look at it like that. It is definitely time to look at something from a new perspective. No doubt. Look at it as a fresh start. Whatever it is this I'm, what I'm talking about. Whatever it is that you need to let go of. Look at it as a blessing. Like, okay, something better is coming. Because there's some deceit. There's, there's some deceit. And uh, you know what it is. The high priestess. Okay. There's some secret that is probably not even a secret. Because you know what it is. Okay, and if you don't know what it is, it could be revealed this week because a se this means a secret could be re revealed and it could, could cause some disheaval. Seriously, with the Emperor in the Tower here, and I don't do reversals because I consider the reversals with every card. So 
I get the meaning. All right. So I'm just telling you, there could be some deceival this week that could might cause you to struggle a little bit, you know, and I'm sorry to tell you that. Some secret could be revealed, and it's a secret that you may have already known. Um, yeah. It just, there's definitely some uh, disagreements, all right? So there's some disagreements this week, and it affects your, your future. It affects your wishes, okay? Um, and you might feel like you need to escape from the situation. Just the master of escaping right here at this point. You know what I mean? This is what this is. It's like, you know what? I just need to pretend this is it. And that's what's going on. Okay? It's like something becomes known. and Or you already know it down in your gut, your intuition. And it's something that isn't good with this seven of, cord, seven of swords. And I said cords. Get it? Seven of cords. Seven of swords. But you take that how it was said, okay? I believe that something is ending that you are attached to, okay? Or you are contemplating ending something. And it's weighing heavily on your mind with this card, this card, and this card. It is weighing heavily. And you know that sooner or later you're going to have to make a decision. And the tower is here to say we might help you make the decision because it's time to walk away from something that no longer serves you. Okay? This is what this card says. You must leave something behind that no longer serves you and be practical. Okay, because you're looking for something practical um, and, and secure and stable. All right. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And now these could be players in your week. All right, I'm going to name them off for you. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have a Libra. We have an Aquarius. We have a Sagittarius. We have a Taurus. We have an Aries. That's what we have so far. I'm going to start shuffling to get the next pull. I see that it's it's time to broaden your horizons, okay? It is. It's time to broaden your horizons. It's a time of change. Yep. Hey, there might be a little bit of chaos this week, okay? There could be a little bit of chaos that comes in regarding this secret that might come out. Now, this may have already come out because time is fluid. Or it may come out later on, you know. It could come out at the beginning of November. This is for the week of October 23rd through the 29th. So this may have not happened yet. But I do see that there's some kind of deceit here. Or you feel deceived over a situation. Um, and I think that you have to struggle through it as much as, much as it kills you to do it. There's something heavily weighing on you. And you have been trying to make the right decision and when the justice card comes out it says it's time to make the decision and with the tower right next to it the universe might help you because I think you need to let something go you definitely need to let something go change is on the horizon there's too many disagreements too much strife you might be feeling the need to escape you might just want to be alone and not move or not do anything because you know this is really heavy it's heavy This is the uh, divorcee, widow, widower, somebody who's living very gratefully on their own. Single. Yeah, yeah. I believe that many of you um, are about to start something brand new. It's like a fresh start, starting over. Starting over, you know? Leaving a situation. Be good. Look at this, okay? This is the Fool, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Leaving a situation, walking away to, to a more peaceful ground, okay? That's what that is, to start something brand new. Now, this may or may not resonate. Like I told you, it will resonate for some and not for others. This right here is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, this is this, and it can be any sign that you're dealing with because we all have different aspects in our chart. But this is the cold, harsh truth of a situation, okay? That comes out, and it could really hurt big time with that Three of Swords, 
okay? There could be some hurt and there's like grief, some serious grief over this. And you're just like, I don't even know what to do, even though you do know what to do. You're pretending you don't know what to do because it's going to be a struggle to get through it. So it's better to just escape from the situation, block it out, you know? Just carry the heaviness around for now because I don't really want to deal with this right now. So we'll just pretend this really isn't happening. Because you know that it's going to take hard work to release yourself, okay, and to start over because the unknown is scary, okay? That's all there is to it. And you just like you just want the stability and the security, and that's all there is to it. And when you start over something fresh, there's no stability and there's no security, so that's kind of scary. Okay, that's, that's the fear I was talking about. Many of you will be doing something on your own. Maybe you'll be, uh, and this won't resonate with everybody, okay? Many of you may be single again, okay? Be, and, or you're thinking about becoming single again and just doing things on your own, knowing that you can take care of yourself very well. Or many of you are already single, okay? And you're about to start something brand new, okay? That could be the case. If you're single, you could be starting something new um, with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius because this is starting a new journey, leaping in. Like I said, this is for hundreds and thousands of people, so I'm going to try to get it with as many people as I can. At the bottom of this deck, we have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this person is probably the basis of your reading as well, okay, along with this one. So this person probably plays a big part. Maybe this is the, I don't know, maybe this is the person that's coming in or the person that's uh, going out. Whew. This is deep, very deep. Not what I expected at all. Wow. It's time to broaden your horizons. Changes on the changes on the horizon. That's I don't know what's going on here. The towers here says something has to break down. That's a breakdown that's coming from the universe. That's when the universe says we're going to help you out with this, <laughs> and they're going to break something down, and it ends up being a blessing in disguise. And it forces you because the tower is connected to your basis. It forces you to struggle through it. Shower of Abundance. Let's see what that one says. This is an Angel Guidance card. And I know the Cross Watchers will, will probably put a thumbs down on this one. And that's what usually the thumbs downs are, Cross Watchers that don't want their partner. You know, that's what it usually is. Shower of Abundance. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. Are you worried about money? Hmm. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. You have to be able to accept from others. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you will allow. Hmm. This is a weekly love reading, all right? Maybe, for many of you, this pertains to a job. You may be thinking about leaving a job, but you're scared of the unknown. And for some of you, it may not resonate at all. For most of you, I think it's regarding a love relationship, because this was intended to be a love reading. Okay? I think that you guys need to struggle through something. And you know what it is with that high priestess. You know what it is. And it's heavy, heavy on your heart. And it causes a lot of grief and sorrow. But you gotta let some, the Six of Swords with this Eight of Cups walking away from something that no longer serves you and the tower is next to that to help it's a blessing in disguise so your week of october 23rd to through the 29th looks like you're going to be working through something okay struggling through something whether you like it or not that's what i have for you leo